Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are discussing an example in which we will be drawing ladder diagram from logic eight circuits. So let's look at the example first. Example 20. There is OR gate with the input A and B and then there is another OR gate with the input C and D. And then there is AND gate with the output of A plus B and C plus D. So we will be using normally open contacts for all the inputs and we will connect A and B in parallel. We will also connect C and D in parallel and then we will connect A and B in series with C and D. So let's move to EcoStructure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. I will open EcoStructure Machine Expert I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab. Here is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using DM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configuration. I will click on yes. So the device I'm using has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port, and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. I can also go to serial line where I can select protocol. I will select it as TMS 2GDB and then I will click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram for the logic 8 circuit. I can also click on this option for a full screen mode and then I can also zoom into it like this. So I will insert two normally open contacts and connect them in parallel. And then I will insert two more normally open contacts and I will connect them in parallel. Then I will insert a coin here. So I need to connect these two contacts. I will click on this option and draw lines like this. I will assign address to this contact as I 0.0, .0. I will also add symbol to it as A. Yes. Then I will assign address to this contact as I 0.1. I will also add symbol to it as B. Yes. Then I will assign address to this contact as I 0.2 and symbol as C. Yes, then I 0 0.3 and symbol as D. Yes, then I will assign address to the coil as Q 0, 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as Y. Yes, so here we have connected input A and B in parallel, thus implementing OR gate. Then we have connected C and D in parallel, thus implementing OR gate. Then we have connected A plus B and C plus D in series, and thus we have implemented AND gate. So for output Y to be on, 
either A or B should be on or and either C or D should be on. That is, one of the two inputs should be on and here one of the inputs should be on and then only Y will be on. If A and C are on, then Y will be on or if A and D are on, then output Y will be on or if B and C are on, Y will be on or B and D will be on, Y will be on. And if A and B are on, then Y will be off or if C and D will be on, then also Y will be on. And if all the inputs, if A, B, C and D will be on, then also Y will be on. So we will exit full screen mode. We will compile the program. And then we will go to commissioning and launch simulator. Then I will start controller to do so. Click OK. I will go to programming tab and click on full screen mode. So when I turn on A and C, the output Y will be on. And then if I turn on A and D, the output Y will be on. And then if I turn on B and D, the output Y will be on. And then if I turn on B and C, the output Y will also be on. And then if I turn on A and B, the output Y will be off. And then if I turn on C and D, the output Y will be off. And then if I turn on all the inputs, the output Y will be on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.